Hello, crypto fans. Dick Allgaier here in Honolulu, Hawaii, talking about silver today. I had a very interesting conversation with my friend Bix Weir. Bix Weir is Mr. Silver. He knows more about silver than I'll ever know. And I wanted to show him our latest remote viewing project that was on silver. Very interesting. And in the course of the conversation, Bix dropped something on me that I hadn't heard of or seen before about the new design of silver coins. Okay, get to that in a minute. First, our project. It is available on patreon.com slash crypto viewing. We were given a blind remote viewing that had to do with the financial system and the target was silver. We came back with some very, very interesting data, a lot of data. The presentation is almost two hours long. We saw big events happening. We saw things in store for silver which fall in line with what Bix has been predicting, what we've been predicting for a long time. A very interesting presentation worth seeing on patreon.com slash crypto viewing. So I was giving Bix a preview of this and we were, I was getting Bix's analysis of our data and he told me this interesting thing about silver coins. It has a friend in the banking industry and they're getting these new ATM machines that dispense coins. And, all, oh, and really? also, yeah, absolutely. And oh, also, I hadn't heard that one. Yeah, the, the US Silver Eagle, the redesign on the gold and silver eagle have a little notch on the bottom. As a matter of fact, I have one right here that you can put an identifier. So there's here's the new eagle. Yep. And you look at the bottom, got a little notch there. Oh, yeah. So I have one of the Road to Ruta customers sent me this, and this one has already been identified. It's got something called dust ID. It's a it's a diamond dust that they put in there and they can they it's like a, a QR code. You can you know exactly what coin each coin will be identified. Oh, they can track it that way. Yep. And and we'll look what's on it, of course, a, a crypto. Dust ID. Like a wallet. Oh, that's a address. Oh, so yeah. they have an address for each coin. Absolutely. So you can use it on your wallet or you can go in and get your coin out, your specific coin. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Now, now he said, he has, you know, the, the guy, my customer said his buddy, it, I think it's called uh, dust something. It's diamond dust that they use. Mm -hmm. to, to make these identifiers. He said they swore up and down they aren't working with the U.S. government. Cliff Heiss said the U.S. government has some kind of braille system that they're using on it. So definitely something is happening. And, and uh, David Ryder, the ex-Mint guy who left right after these were made and was in charge of the redesign, he said the new back, let me show you the new back of the Silver Eagle. It didn't look all that, oh, there's a, hang on, there's, a, uh, there's some tape on it that the guy put on it for some reason, but it's of uh, an Eagle coming in, adding a branch, adding a branch to the pile is what David Ryder said it was doing to me. That's, Oh my God, they're, they're literally stockpiling silver Eagles, adding, adding branches yeah. to the, to the pile. Where, where are you getting those new silver, silver Eagles? Are you getting those from Andy Sheckman? You can get them from Andy. Yep. Miles Franklin. Uh, just go info at milesfranklin.com And, so um, he doesn't have a lot of them. He has them on occasion. <laughs> You're going to pay literally $35 for them. It's crazy. Well, he, he just had to do that $50 million yeah. deal. And, and he couldn't, and he, 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 could, fill he couldn't fill it all, all the Eagles. She wanted seven or 75% in Eagles and 25% in silver Eagles, 25% in um, gold Eagles or other U S coinage, like the, the silver pre 65 or the, you know, the old St. Gaudens gold, uh, coins, but he he could only do nine nine hundred thousand of the eagles because literally he bought out everybody. Yeah, and he paid a huge premium, and she didn't care because I you know some of these millionaires are in the know that the U.S. they can very easily uh, differentiate silver coins minted by the U.S. and you know just random coins. Yeah. Well, like I said, my sources are telling me if you're in the U.S., it's better to have U.S. eagles. Or yeah. or U.S. coinage in general. Yeah, U.S. Like yeah. Pre-65 stuff, I think. Pre-65. Pre 
Yeah. Well, that's then, getting hard to get. Oh, I know. And then, and then you think about um, confiscation or nationalization. Legally, they'd have to pass a law that that uh, confiscates silver or gold coins from people, from the individuals. And then it's in, in 1934 they they did it, but. Um, a lot of people didn't turn it back in. Once they nationalized, they um, changed the price of gold from twenty dollars to thirty five. 20, Twenty bucks. A lot of people just buried it in the back. A lot of people buried it, and and a lot of people that just didn't have gold. A lot of people kept it, kept uh, their wealth in silver, which they maintained. So it was really a banker thing. Um, so if they do pass a a law, remember we are not secluded anymore. We have an internet. Silver is a global market and they can't stop yeah. that. How much silver would be smuggled out if they're trying to suppress the price? If they were smart, they'd increase the price of silver over market price so that all the silver flows into the United States. So we'll have more to use as money. Um, let me show one more bit of data that I had where I said, um, okay, in my session, I said, draconian measures, executive orders to maintain stability, Patriot Act type measures, rights suspended for the good of all. Um, so I, I was getting the idea of, is there going to be some new regulation come down that like, oh, there's such a financial crisis that we're going to restrict the use of silver? But would they be able to do that if everything falls apart? It's going to be interesting. So you think, do you think they're going to try to come out with a central bank digital coin that's backed by silver? Um, no. Or gold? No. No, I don't think, I do think they'll try their CBDC. I, I think there's two factions here. One faction is the central bank faction, the IMF and all that. Yeah. Um, the other faction is who I believe are the patriots in the United States. Other countries can do what they want. The, the problem with the central bank faction and the IMF and the World Bank is they will have lost 100% of their credibility and nobody will listen to them anymore. And we saw this in the banking meetings that just happened last week. The eight biggest banks in America, most systemic banks, had to go in front of Maxine Waters and uh, Elizabeth Warren and say how great they are. The timing of that couldn't have been better because now if we go into a collapse, they can go back and put the hammer down in the United States. We have gold and silver as money on the books. So I don't, I don't think a backing of a CBDC would do any good um, because unless it was redeemable, if it's redeemable. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't call it a CBDC though. I would call that because the central bank has no gold or silver. They just want a way to, to continue making money out of nothing with greater control money. Well, they, they can make money, right? They can this, make debt out of fake money using a computer and they can track it. Yeah. Well, with a CBDC, at least the one they're talking about, it has all, it has none of the, the good qualities of Bitcoin. It's, it's not right. immutable. It's not um, limited in supply. There's no open source software. You can't yeah. see what's going on and they control it all. That's, that's what they have right now. That's why I always laugh at the CBDC thing. What country would, would submit to something like that? And as a matter of fact, the Minneapolis head of the Fed, uh, Neil Kashkari, came out last week and said, the United States would never succumb to a CBDC. Maybe China, but yeah. the United States would never. We like our freedom. It's, yeah. With China, they're authoritarian. They're yeah. tyrannical. They can just tell people what they're going to do. Have you heard anything going on in uh, Australia? Because I have a friend down there that said uh, one of the big banks is restricting withdrawal of money. Oh, even that's coming ATM. everywhere. That's, yeah. that's absolutely coming everywhere, even to your hometown very soon. Um, yeah, but that that's the other thing. If they, if they would... would if they restrict withdrawal, everybody's going to say, oh, my God. And mm -hmm. there's your, you know, it's a wonderful life moment because the banks don't have the money. They restrict it. Everybody's going to go in and try to pull out as much as they restrict it to. And in the meantime, in the background, they don't have any money because the derivative bubble blew and everybody's done. Yeah. What do you know about the um, 
privacy layer of Litecoin. Have you heard about that? Yeah, Mimblewimble. Yeah, um, I I like it. I heard it's good. Um, anytime you you add uh, features to a blockchain or attach them to a blockchain, there's you know less not less secrecy, but there's there's less security. Mm. So they're adding Mimblewimble, which is you know it's a, a side chain type of thing where that. Yeah where the coins are mixed. I'm not sure how it exactly works, but, but I, I, I agree with the idea of it. And if it works great, but it's now there's two, there's two things that people can go after. Litecoin is damn solid. It's like the only, uh, even Bitcoin was fucked up in the beginning. Litecoin has yeah. never been. Um, so it, it is a give and take to everything, but imagine Litecoin, a, a cryptocurrency that's fairly fast and with lightning network would be, you know, in unlimited fast, but imagine Litecoin being out there as a means of exchange. That's what I've always been saying. That's I've, probably the most likely case of the government saying, okay, you know, there's certain things we allow. It would be Bitcoin and Litecoin because they aren't securities and um, they're not centralized theoretically. Boy, I've done a couple trades and movements where I, I need, I wanted to buy a bunch of one thing and you try that on, ethereum or oh i know other well, networks they're, they're just, now. Ah. so you just you just go to your wallet and you i go to atomic i change it <laughs> for litecoin and the litecoin transaction is like that and it's real cheap it's so so is um theta i mean theta i see as a technology company um so i that's how i'm i'm, I'm counting on theta and it it uh when it was at 16 that was fun it's yeah. going to be back up there. Oh, sure. I mean, but then what's the dollar going to be worth? It's it, See, this whole silver experiment outlines kind of what Cliff's data said. You know, yeah, silver is going to $600, but you're not going to want to live in a $600 silver world. Yeah. It's it's like the it's same thing with Bitcoin's going to go to 100000 or 200000 But that that the good news is your Bitcoin's worth 100000 The bad news is $100,000 will only buy you one Bitcoin. So milk, gas, everything else. We're in interesting times, aren't we? Oh my we? God, absolutely. And But we've been talking about this for how long? Forever. Yeah. Now we're just, we're, we're kind of in the beginning of the end game is, is the way I look at it. Yeah. So anyway, our silver um, segment is, the full report is at patreon.com slash crypto viewing invite people to go see it we have like a two-hour presentation there's tons more data yeah. it's and, really good uh, too uh, you guys do a great job on that um i, I would advise everybody read the tasking to get the yeah because it's really an overall if it's an overall it's not asking about the silver price necessarily it's just saying oh what how will silver fit into the world in the future and in, yeah. in many different ways and what we saw though we don't fully understand it is there are some momentous events there's some crises coming there's some deals being made in back rooms and it things are going to get real interesting pretty quick so awesome wonderful well mr allgaier thank you so much for spending time with the road to Ruta family we love you so much and we wish you uh we're closer i'm actually i might be coming out to hawaii uh, in January, if the world is not upside down, okay, so, over to Maui. Over I'll to fly Maui. over to Maui, spend the day, yeah. we'll play a couple songs. Well, I'll, I'll get that bar again to to hook us up, and we can. Uh, we can that was record. big fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Bix. Always good to see you. Thanks for checking in. Okay, Dick. Take care. Aloha. Bye bye. Okay, one final add on but more on that notch that's not the mint doing that it's not the government but no it is the oh, government's is. doing the notch but the government hasn't put the code in there in that notch yet so the new eagle new silver eagle has the new back and the notch that's the only things they mm -hmm. changed um the notch is blank on the new eagles but i think when this transition happens they're going to put identifier codes into the notch. And that's why they put the notch there. Wow. That's really interesting. I hadn't heard that.
we'll, we'll they, keep an well, eye they on said that. the notch was for safety or for security i'm like anybody could take a file and put a notch in what you what is the notch for yeah and it, it's a little a little it's like a little plate that you can put a qr code or a, a braille type of uh or this is a diamond dust um amazing technology these days i'm gonna get a few of those you know that with the dollar so strong and silver down this is a perfect time to buy silver yeah the problem yeah. is the u.s mint isn't isn't giving them out to people they're they're running at 25 percent production levels that tells you something all That's right thanks Vix. all right dick talk to you later again our full silver report on our latest remote viewing on silver with a lot of really interesting data that points to big events happening soon big financial events happening soon that's available now at the founder and visionary level at patreon.com slash crypto viewing. Thank you, Bix, for doing a segment with us. You can see Bix on roadtoruta.com. He has his own Patreon channel and uh, a lot of good information there. Aloha.